Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate broadcast message on Facebook using Socinator. Sending messages to friends is a great way to keep in touch with them. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your Facebook account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Accounts Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Facebook through Socinator. Let's click Broadcast Message. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to send messages to a number of people within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for broadcast message activity. Let's begin with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted users to message. There are two important sections. Query type and query. Query type defines how you want to search the user. You can select the query type by clicking the drop down button. Once you have selected your query type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area or by clicking the import from CSV or text file button. You may upload by choosing the right file and then click open. When you're ready, click the add queries to the list button and it will be added to the queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's input James Bond, for example. Click Add. So this will target Facebook users with this keyword. Next, we have location. We need to enter a specific place. Let's say London. Click Add. So this will target Facebook users who live in this location. Next, we have group members. So we need a specific Facebook group URL. Let's go to Facebook, select a group. Let's say how to draw manga or anime tips. Copy the group URL and paste it in the query box and click add. So this will target all the members of this Facebook group. Next, we have fan page likers. So we need a specific Facebook page. Let's use the official page of Oreo. Copy the page URL paste it in a query box, and click Add. So this will target all the Facebook users who liked that page. Next, we have Friend of Friend. So we need a profile URL here. Let's say this one, for example. Copy the profile URL, paste it in a query box, click Add. So this will target the friends of that specific Facebook user. Next, we have Post Likers. So we need a specific Facebook post URL here. Let's go to Oreo and select their latest post. Uh, this one, for example. So click the share button and click copy link. Success. So let's paste the link in the query box and click add. So this will target all the users who like that post. Next is post sharer with the same post URL. Click add. So this time, it will target all the users who shared that post. Next, we have post commenters. Let's use the same post URL. Click add. So this time, it will target the users who commented on that post. Next is graph search URL. So we need a specific search URL on Facebook. Earlier, we searched for James Bond, right? So under people, copy the search URL here and it will target all the search results. Paste it and click Add. Next, we have Page Post Likers. So for this one, we need a specific Facebook page. Let's use Oreo again, copy their page URL, add it in the query box, and click Add. So this will target the Facebook users who like posts from that page. Next, we have Group Post Likers. Let's use the manga group, how to draw manga group. Copy the link and paste it. Click add. So this will target the Facebook users who like posts of that group. Next, we have custom profile URL. As the name suggests, we need a specific Facebook profile URL. So let's use the one we used earlier. This one, copy and paste it in the query box and click add. So this will target that specific Facebook profile. Next, we have suggested friends. So these are the suggested friends of your Facebook account. All you need to type is friends and click add. So this will target your suggested friends on Facebook. 
Next, we have event URL. So we need a Facebook event for this one. Let's use this particular Facebook event, copy the event URL, and paste it in the query box. Click Add. So the Facebook users who are interested in that specific event will be targeted. Finally, we have user follower. So for this one, we need a specific profile URL again. So copy the profile URL and paste it here and click add and it will target that specific Facebook user's followers. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say you want to remove keywords, click the trash bin button and it's gone. The next one is Manage Messages, where you can create and manage the messages you want to send. If the message you want to send has links, then check this box to send message with link as preview. If you hover on spin tags, you can see the format of the messages. So you can add several messages, each separated by that symbol. If you hover on tag, you can see the format on how to tag Facebook users. In the message text area, we can type the messages that we want to send. So the format is like this. So let's say the first message is, hi, how are you? Separate with a symbol. Second message, hey, how's it going? Separate again with this symbol. Third message, hello. Then close parenthesis. So you may clear using the clear all button over here and it's gone. You may also import from CSVR text file by clicking this button. Select the right file, message for example, and click open. And the message is uploaded successfully. If you check spin tags, then it will randomly select any of these messages. You may also upload pictures by clicking the photo button. Select the right file and click open. And the picture will be uploaded with your message. For queries, it depends on our search query earlier. So we can select one multiple or all of them. So let's select mm, group members for example. When you're ready, click add message to list and it will be added to the messages list over here. You can see the message, the query, and the action button over here will allow us to edit or delete the message. Next we have job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should message users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use like slow with an average daily activities of 16, medium with 41, fast with 66, or super fast with 83. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Facebook user is messaged. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after sending messages to the number of users you set in messages to number of profiles per job. Messages to number of profiles per job will allow you to specify the number of Facebook users you want to message per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of Facebook users to message per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another certain number of messages to max profiles per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep sending messages to users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple timeframes in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example. Provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. click add. So as you can see we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it Facebook message and click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing Facebook message. The next tool is user filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to message on Facebook. The first one allows us to specify the gender of the user so you could send messages to male users, female users, or both. So let's send messages to both. For location, you can specify the place where the user should live. 
So enter the location here. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Select the right file and click open. And when you're done, click the save button. For other configurations, select this filter to send unique message to each user. Finally, the last configuration category is blacklist. Blacklisted users are the Facebook profiles you do not want Socinator to interact with. So in this case, Socinator will not message blacklisted users when this box is checked. So this can either be a private blacklist which belongs to a specific Facebook account or a group blacklist which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start sending messages to Facebook users, let's scroll up and click save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating broadcast message on Facebook using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select Facebook. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to broadcast messages tab and select broadcast message on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Facebook broadcast messages for keywords. Let's target James Bond, click add, and the location should be uh, London, for example, click add. For managed messages, let's check spin tax and let's upload the message that we used earlier. And for queries, all, and click add message to list, success. For job configuration, let's select slow. For user filters, let's select both genders. For other configurations, it's up to you, and let's skip blacklisted users. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Facebook accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click the box of the account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Facebook broadcast messages campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.